13 years ago, when I first started the work of Treasures, there weren't a lot of stories that were being publicly shared in the church about sexual abuse and rape and sexual exploitation. As a matter of fact, a lot of times I felt pretty alone in my story. And the charge at the time was break the silence, break the silence. We need to hear stories, we need to share stories. And that is still true. Story is powerful, it's important. However, the pendulum has swung and I believe that we're in a time and an era in the church where the church is more open to hearing stories of brokenness. And that is an awesome thing. But at the same time, I've seen a tendency to kind of want to give a spotlight to victimhood, especially when it comes to the anti-trafficking movement. Um, everywhere you go, people are saying, we want to hear survivor stories, we want to hear survivor stories. And I understand um, the, the hunger and drive for that, but at the same time, if it can unintentionally communicate to people that their value is in their victimhood because that's what we want to hear from them about. I actually remember um, about a year or so ago, I was filming a documentary and I was going into my story and all the things that I had been through and the trauma and the memories. And at, at a certain point, the documentary uh, maker said, okay, so I think, you know, I think we're good. Do you have anything else that you wanted to add that we didn't cover? And I said, yeah, actually, we haven't talked at all about treasures or what I'm doing now or who I am today, where I am today. And he paused for a minute and just said, it's okay, I think we got what we needed. And so that told me that what he needed was just my victimhood. But the truth is, is that you and I are not just defined by the victimhood of our past. As a matter of fact, we are not defined by the victimhood of our past. And the Bible says that we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. And your testimony isn't just the hard and painful and difficult things that you've been through. Your testimony is the work that God has done, the restoration and healing that he's brought. And so I just want to encourage you to move forward to a place in your life where you can see yourself beyond the circumstances that made you a victim victim and begin to see yourself as God sees you and focus on the work that he's doing in you.